Hello YouTube, my name is Dane Lemaitre and welcome to another one of my reviews. This review will be on the Hornby Dart model. Um, a lot of people have requested that I do this. Um, obviously I, I was intending to do it anyway, like I said I'm intending to do uh, all the models that I've got. Uh, so today we've got Hornby Dart. Um, first thing I'll say is that uh, he's far too big. Um, Dart was introduced in series 15 although he was officially introduced in Day of the Diesels, however in the United Kingdom um, Series 15 aired before Day of the Diesels. Um, Dart is a very small engine. He's smaller than a diesel, salty and den. However, the Hornby have made him very big and if I was to put salty next to him he's actually a lot taller but not quite as long as the Backman Salty. Uh, and these two engines, although one's Backman and one's Hornby, they're both um, double O scale, so should roughly be about the same size. However, there has been other ranges that have done this, such as the wooden range. As you can see in this photo, Dart is bigger than Den. However, the Take and Play range capture his size perfectly. Another thing uh, with Dart, uh, like Salty and Mavis and Bill and Ben, there is like a, well not a hole, but a, well, yeah, it's a, like a big gap uh, where is where they've accommodated his coupling. Um, it's a bit, again, it's a bit of a shame if you did want to change the size of the coupling. Um, so it's far, it'd be far too uh, so you'd have a big gap there. Um, also, his buffers are not big enough, and his face uh, should actually be covering the whole of his front, whereas it doesn't. However, the face looks very much like Dart. Um, Colour-wise, I think uh, I think Dart's been captured perfectly. Uh, the one thing I would say is that his uh, yellow on the side here needs to be a bit more dull. Um, in Day of the Diesels and many of the TV episodes, it looked more of a cream colour than a yellow. Um, however, say as you notice from my other photos, that other ranges have done this. Uh, also, he comes with uh, side rods, whereas uh, Dart had four wheels of outside rods, uh, similar to Rusty, uh, the narrow gauge diesel. Now we move on to the packaging of the uh, Hormy Dart. Uh, for once, with the Hormy range, I did have a bit of trouble. Um, Dart was really hard to get in and out, and if you look carefully, I've sort of had to chisel um, away to get him in and out of the box. It was really hard to get in and out, but now I can move him quite easily. Um, he also comes with uh, some brake pipes. Like I said, over the packaging, it wasn't a huge issue. He was still very well protected, um, so I can't argue with that. Uh, he also comes with this uh, box here. And, uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say that from come 2011, unfortunately, a lot of the range had been discontinued. Um, so the Hornby didn't have much to sell, unfortunately. Um, but it was nice that Dark came along. Uh, like the all the other locomotives with Hornby, he also comes with a set of instructions. During my reviews, we discovered that most of the models say underneath them when they were built in right, right, uh, writing. Uh, however, there have been some locomotives, such as uh, Spencer and Murdoch, that haven't had this, and neither does Dart. However, looking on the box, we can only assume that he was this model was made in 2011. Also, I really like his... Uh, He's got the logo on the side, so the Vickerstown Diesel Works logo. Um, it's funny actually, I don't know what anyone else thinks. I've always thought that diesel looks a bit like a scruff, who's obviously um, a steam engine and Thomas the Tang engine. Uh, Dart runs very well indeed. Um, you can sort of understand why they've given him coupling rods, and, and plus the fact if he was as small as the, the real Dart, um, he might not actually be able to manage anything at all. Um, and as we've, been, as we've learned, uh, Hornby use uh, the um, tools from other locomotives to make their models. So I suppose for them this was the next best thing and like I said, everything detail wise, everything is there. It's just the size that lets it down. Um, I think again it's like the Hornby uh, Edward almost. I bought D Dart for Model Zone in Milton Keynes. Um, Dart I've been to Milton Keynes a number of times. I normally go every three months or so, and he'd been on the shelf for ages. I assume it was the same dart. And when I bought him, he'd been reduced, and uh, he was rather dusty. 
and also I had to give him a bit of an oiling before he worked properly. Um, but he now he's been oiled, he works absolutely fine. I've not had uh, any issues with him whatsoever. Um, I rec he's a really good model. I recommend if you haven't got him and you see him, you do get him. Uh, along with Murdoch, he was one of the last uh, engines to be made by Hornby. The Hornby, as of 2014, what we're in now, uh, haven't appeared to make uh, any more models of um, the Thomas the Tank engine range. Um, what's quite amazing is uh, characters like Edward, who's one of the main characters, um, it took it took him rather a long time to become uh, in the range, uh, well, as long as as well as a few other main characters. Um, whereas Dart actually came out before he was even, um, like right at the beginning of two thousand eleven, before the um, series fifteen and Day of the Diesels even aired. He's also the only character from the CGI series. Obviously, Dart wasn't in the model series; he was only in the CGI series. The only new character from the CGI series to make it into uh, the Hornby range and also there's not been any others so far in the Batman range any of the new characters um, and like I said I think it, it, they've captured his uh, face very well and uh, also in some ways it's a bit of a sentimental uh, thing to me really when I was younger you may remember uh, my brother worked in TNR models the old model shop and uh, after school sometimes, I used to go in there, and there was a little blue diesel with red wheels, uh, an 040, just like Dart here, and uh, there used to be a track, a railway track there, and I always used to um, enjoy playing with it and watching it go round, and it was also uh, censored so that when it reached the buffers at the end, it would roll back to the start, and I used to enjoy watching it, so it's really nice to have Dart. Uh, another thing as well, I don't know if any of you buy the um, Ladybird books, as you can see I've actually got yeah, pretty much all of them here. And one thing I always noticed, I mean, maybe it's the Asperger side of me, because I've got Asperger syndrome, is that the pages all have a particular smell about them. Um, and the chassis of the Hornby Dart model smells exactly the same. And say, I think uh, his, his, win his windows all look really nice. Um, and at least they've added the windows, unlike on the uh, Take and Play model. Overall, uh, I think I'd give Dart um, a 7.5 out of 10. So he is a very good model, I reckon you manage you get him. But size wise it's not hundred percent right and uh, obviously for some it would have to be absolutely perfect to give it a ten out of ten. But every, everything's there, like I say, it's just the size of things, like I say you could do with some bigger buffers. Um and also it's a bit of a shame that the coupling there is isn't grey and it's yellow. Um again not the right colour. Um as I said there's a few things that aren't quite right uh, looking wise, but he is nevertheless um, once I gave him an oil of course, a great model. Um recommend it to all of you. Uh, thank you for watching. For everyone who's uh, who uh, asked to have this diesel, it means a lot that people have been requesting. Um, next time we'll be looking at two more diesels, D7101 and D261. Until then, thanks for watching and goodbye.